Okay, welcome back from the weekend uh, that I believe was so fantastic for you. Uh, my name is uh, Melan Zmilo, aka Fula. This is uh, the Buzz UG. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm using the same names, Melan Zmilo, aka Fula. Now, over the weekend, uh, this picture of Speaker Right Honorable Anita Monk's country home saturated so big time on social media platforms. Uh, this home is found in Bokedia district that is in eastern Uganda. Some Ugandans on different social media platforms have questioned why the speaker's home looks so beautiful than the healthy centers in the district. And some people have started sharing pictures of healthy centers in the district, comparing them to the speaker's home. Now, people gathered right there are members of parliament, and it's reported that the speaker is having Thanksgiving festivities in Harkos Tuesi and about 300 members of parliament are expected to attend in person. Yes, so that is the latest update coming in from the speaker's camp. Some people on social media are not happy that the speaker's home looks so beautiful than the healthy centers in the district. Well, away from that, Kawempe North Member of Parliament, Hori Bosegirinya Muhammad, has accused Parliament of abandoning him by refusing to pay his medical bills even after they promised to cover his medical bills in the hospital abroad where he is receiving treatment. They have refused to pay the medical bills. Uh, they only bought an air ticket which took me to Nairobi, but for the medical bills, including the one of Nairobi and Germany, I used my salary to pay. I don't have money with me. At the hospital, they need money, yet Parliament promised to pay. Uh, Segirinya is suffering from lung complications, which could not be handled right here in the country. Of course, we all know our hospitals right here are still lacking so big time. So he was transferred to Germany, where he's receiving treatment right now. And uh, we continue to wish him a very quick recovery. <music> On a sad note, over the weekend, uh, four people died and uh, others sustained serious injuries after truck. They were traveling in overturned several times in Kasanda along Movende Mitiana Road. According to Kawala Rachel, Wamala Region Police Spokesperson, the accident happened around 3 a.m. at Mianzi Trading Center in Kasanda District. She added that the injured were rushed to Mitiana Hospital for medical treatment, uh, whereas the bodies of the deceased were taken to the mortuary awaiting post-mortem examinations. <laughs> May their souls rest in peace. Well, still over the weekend, CBS radio presenter and DJ Mbazira Tony was involved in a terrible accident along Kampala Massacre Road. He was traveling with another musician identified as Ida Mugo. <laughs> Well, according to reports, Mbazura Tony and Aida Mugo were traveling to Masaka to entertain their fans that side. They have a day in Masaka, a day in Aichi, which I mean, and Yanya, or Ariro, Nafuna Kavania. The two sort of Puma Puva, Zaba Dukirize, Abasomu, Kuanga, Vale, Tapuanga, and Opposina Bantuan, and Kora, which Pochokuta, Somon to Omoto Alamo Dual, Nobu Janjavi, Abasinga, Banonia, Yakuba. Well, Mbazura Tony and Aida Mugo, we wish you a very quick recovery. Away from that, now after several months of a breakup with his baby mama Shazni Khan, Mickey Wine, Bobby Wine's brother, has moved on with another woman identified as Pauline Kamugisha. Reports have indicated that Pauline is already pregnant for Mickey Wine. Actually, other unconfirmed reports have indicated that this is her second pregnancy. Yes, they already have a baby together and uh, this is her second pregnancy. Over the weekend, 
a video of Mickey Wine and Pauline circulated on social media and uh, Mickey Wine said, with you, I'm always at peace. Thank you. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, we wish you all the best. Now, finally, for now, uh, you guys, you remember Yasin Kauma, Bobby Wine's driver who was assassinated by SFC in 2018 in Arua. Yes, that guy right there. Over the weekend, it marked five years since the unforgettable incident happened. In the picture right there are his daughters at One Love Beach in Busabala. They actually caught up with uh, Bobby Wan's wife, Babi Chagulanyi, and uh, Babi said that the Lord has kept them very safe and healthy. Uh, she also thanked the leaders of NUP for looking out for them. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Yes, yeah, so that is the latest update right here on The Buzz UG. My name is Melad Zmilo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you so much for watching till the end. But uh, you can also subscribe in case you haven't. And uh, follow me on TikTok. I'm using Melad Zmilo, a.k.a. Fuller. It is a bye for now. Thank you.